you are welcome to Jerry Royal Channel. Please subscribe to get latest updates on the British royal family. King Charles told Prince Harry his wife was not welcome at Balmoral on the day the Queen died. According to the latest revelations from the Duke of Sussex memoirs, in his explosive new biography Spare, Harry stated that his father instructed him not to bring his spouse Meghan to visit the dying Queen Elizabeth II, citing nonsensical and disrespectful reasons. Angered by Charles's perceived snub, Harry retaliated by asking his father don't ever speak about my wife that way. Prompting the now king to offer an apology, Harry, 38, and Meghan, 41, were in London to attend the Welchild Award ceremony when the Queen's health deteriorated at her home in Scotland. At 1.55 p.m. on September 8, just 90 minutes after Buckingham Palace announced the Queen was unwell a spokesperson, confirmed the couple would travel to Balmoral. Together, but just hours later at 4.39 p.m., a confirmation notice was issued stating the Duke would be travelling without his beloved wife, he flew via private jet to Scotland alone and arrived at Balmoral shortly after the Queen's death was publicly announced, Harry has now claimed that during this window, he was issued direct instructions from then Prince Charles not to bring Meghan, in a moving passage in his autobiography, the Duke describes how he learned of the Queen's passing after checking the BBC News website, but was incensed at his father's request that he leave the Duchess of Sussex behind, at the time, a source claimed Harry was still at Frogmore Cottage when he received a call from his father, asking for Meghan to stay at home, Charles told Harry that it wasn't right or appropriate for Meghan to be in Balmoral, at such a deeply sad time, a source said, it was pointed out to him that Kate was not going and that the numbers really should be limited to the very closest family. Upon arriving at Balmoral, Harry was greeted by Anne, the Princess Royal, who then took him upstairs to a room where the late sovereign was lying. He detailed how he told her he hoped she was happy and that he admired her, in spare. Harry outlined a number of conversations he shared with his father now King, in which Charles is said to have expressed negative feelings towards Meghan, in one of the sensational claim. Harry accused his father of worrying he'd be overshadowed by Hollywood star Meghan and voicing concerns about having to support her financially. The prince said he considered sarcastically telling his father the cost of providing Meghan with food and shelter was minimal, given that she did not have a large appetite and could make her own clothes. The king is said to be hopeful of one day reconciling with his youngest son in spite of the claims leveled against him in the book, other shocking revelations made in. Harry's autobiography include details of an alleged physical altercation between William and Harry an explanation of the feud between Meghan and Kate, and the admission the Duke took cannabis, magic mushrooms and cocaine. The royal family has so far remained silent on the explosive claims, and palace sources say the mudslinging must come to an end before by reconciliation could take place. Thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel for latest updates on the British royal family.